we can uh, shoot the gap up here. And head to work in between the rain clouds. So if I can't slide in here to the workplace without getting caught up in some of these old rain drops. We had a bad snow uh, Saturday. I forget what the date was, but man alive in March. I know those guys that went down to Daytona. I guess it's never a bad time to go to Daytona, but if you like me, just give you another. If you're like me and you ride everywhere, man, boy, you'd have been in trouble in Daytona uh, for bike week. They had, I guess the first week they had great weather. It was like un unseasonable weather. I was talking to some of my friends that went. And then that second week, boy, they got a lot of rain and I mean, they said some serious damn pours. And it started getting cold. That's the only thing about going to that spring Daytona for me. Is the weather is still uh, sketchy. And you don't never know what you're going to run into. Even though it is Florida. And it's the sunshine state. They do have some cold days. And, you know, when it rains, it rains hard and fast. And if you're sitting out there at somebody's park or in the middle of a field or, or something like that, and it pours down, where are you going to go? There's nothing for you to get up under. You're going to have to try to ride real fast or slow to get to a, a restaurant or some kind of shelter if you ain't near your hotel or your, your room. So one of these days, I'm going to go check out Daytona in the spring. I went one time. It had to be about 15, 17, 18 years ago when I lived in Pensacola. I rode down on my uh, ZX-9, uh, hung out for one day, and then rode back. So I never really got a good feel for it. But I've been to Biketoberfest in October at least a half a dozen times. And we usually make a big old circle, go down to Biketoberfest, and then we'll run down to Key West and hang out a couple of days and then we'll come back to Thunder Beach hang out another couple of days and then come on home and uh, sometimes in October of course you know coming home it might be a little cold or hopefully we can get through there without any rain but it can get kind of cold in October but man can you imagine uh, leaving Daytona Saturday coming home and it was snowing like crazy I think it might have went as far as the Kennesaw or um, Chattanooga, the snow. I think Huntsville got some, but man, shoot, boy, if you ain't lived up north and you rode that bike, you might well stay till Monday. Just call in sick to work Monday and say, hey, I can't make it, buddy's here. I got, you know, it's snowing. Shoot, get another motel room, but you know, riding in cold weather, even traveling in the rain, I don't mind that, but I don't really like cold rain or definitely don't like riding no cotton picking snow. I've got caught in it before, kind of sleeted on me, but not nothing like what I see. Hell, I shit. I drove that truck to work and got back, but I daggum, I had to white knuckle that daggum thing to get home in my pickup truck. That was all I needed was the dog on uh, tear up my daggum personal vehicle trying to get home and then didn't that be. Uh, caught up trying to buy another pick em up truck with all these high ass prices. Everybody's gouging and going up and this, that, the third with the gas and all that. So I don't need to be tearing up nothing and trying to replace it. But this is Slappy with Slappy Adventures. I'm headed to work. I believe I can get to work and back without getting wet. But. It's, it's, it's the time of the of the year when I want to start riding my motorcycle as much as I can. I want to start riding it. I want to start enjoying it. And going to. And going to. So this is the route to work. I'll be quiet and let you guys check out my route. Give me this good old hook and slap it right here. Oh yeah. Ain't nothing like getting a good old lean before you go in to punch the clock. 
Hey, thanks for watching another episode of Slappy Adventures. Please like, share, and comment. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. <laughs> hey, stay tuned for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.